Hey guys, just a quick video today here on external SSD drives for the use with your iPad. Now this is the latest 2021 11-inch iPad Pro, but this would also be true for the previous generation iPad Pro as well as the latest iPad Air, I think it's a generation four, really anything that has a USB-C port. And one of the big reasons I bought this new iPad Pro from upgrading from my 2017 model, which I still have, was the Thunderbolt 4, USB-C, Thunderbolt 4, which is crazy, crazy fast. Unfortunately for us, the people that bought it, uh, um, Apple has cannibalized it, either software or hardware, and it's much, much slower than what the speed should be. But I didn't know that at the time. I picked up the fastest drive that I could in a reasonable amount of money, which was the SanDisk. Now this does a thousand megabytes per, megabytes per second, and this is the one terabyte model, and I plugged it in and it worked. I picked this up on Amazon. It worked, I transferred files, videos, and it seemed to work great. Fast forward about, I don't know, a month and a half, LumaFusion just changed their, or updated their software to allow external devices. So I plugged this in, was working off of a video project, and this sucker got hot, like crazy, crazy hot. So I thought, well, maybe it's just because of the transfer. You know, it is a faster drive. Sometimes it can run a bit hotter. So I got out of LumaFusion, totally killed it, even tried to restart my iPad. So just in case something was still lingering out there, plugged the SanDisk drive in and it got smoking hot to the point where it was very uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable, it was hot to hold, but I thought it might catch fire. I had my son come in and I said, hey, grab a hold of this. He's like, wow. This is hotter than my hand heater. We bought him this battery charge hand heater. He said, this is like way hotter than that. So I didn't feel comfortable using this any longer. I called SanDisk, physically talked to someone over the phone and said, hey, what's going on? Do I have a defective part? And he said, what are you trying to use it in? I said, my iPad Pro. He said, no, no, no. These are not rated. They're not tested. The drivers don't match. You, you should not use the SanDisk drive in an iPad. It's only qualified on PCs and Mac computers, not iPads. He said the only thing that they had that would be tested to work would be like a USB drive, which they're, they're, they're not horribly so slow, but they're nowhere near as fast as the external SSD. And that's one of the reasons I bought this because it was faster than some of the older offerings that people have been using like the T5s. As you can see, I have a T5 here and we're gonna get to that second. So I said, okay, whatever, fine. And I was out of warranty. And I did use this for a little bit. I tested it, made sure it worked. I thought I was, I was good, but I couldn't return it. I was past the Amazon warranty. So I was like, what am I gonna do? Yes, I had to eat this. But I looked and looked, and it seemed like a lot of people had a lot of good luck with a T5. Now, Samsung does make a T7, which is, basically the same technology as the SanDisk drive, same speeds, and I worried, and I did read some of those T7 reviews, and they said it got hot. So that was enough for me to say, uh, I don't know. The iPad, at least right now, unless they do a software upgrade, the fastest transfer rate I can get out of this thing, no matter what I plug into it, is 500 megabits per second, which the Samsung T5 drive is rated at that. And so I give this a try and it works fantastic. It's just as fast on the iPad anyway as the SanDisk and it doesn't get hot. It's got a little indicator light. I can have this thing plugged in forever and it won't drain the battery. You know, where does heat come? It's, it was draining the battery. I would sit there and just watch the battery percentage go down, go down, go down. And um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But this T5 does not do that. Um, the other thing I didn't like about the SanDisk is this cord. It comes with this, this cable and it's got, I don't have the part here, hopefully I didn't lose it, but it's got a USB-A to um, USB-C. And the, the cable works great, I think, if you were trying to use it in a laptop because you don't want that extra length. Samsung, and I think the T7 does the same thing. It comes with two cables that are a little longer I don't know, they're about a foot and a half long. One of them is USB-C to USB-C, which is basically the, or the same connector. And then it comes with another cable that gives you the USB-A to USB-C. So I like that, and these cables are a nice length. 
So this isn't a long, very high-tech video. I just wanted to do this to let you guys know that if, if you're thinking about picking up a new drive, um, I recommend this T5. Even though it's older, it's not much cheaper, but it doesn't overheat, it doesn't drain your battery, and it's just as fast as the newer SanDisk and the T7s because again, the limitation, at least for right now, is in the iPad itself. So lesson learned, and no matter what you guys buy, if you decide to buy the T7 or whatever other drive out there, if you get it from Amazon or any of the other retailers, make sure that you test it very well before the return policy is up. Make sure you plug it in, do a lot of um, work transfers back and forth, as well as plug it in and just let it sit idle to see what this does. Does it produce heat? Does it drain your battery? Um, before your warranty or your return policy, that is, is up. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope this helps you and you don't make the same mistake as I. And if you have any comments, or questions rather, please leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. That's it. Thanks again. Have a good night.